I was working on a keto roti recipe that did not involve any kneading and here it is. These rotis turn out tasty, they are soft. You just combine the ingredients in a bowl, add the batter to the pan, press it down with a spatula and your rotis are ready. I had this with chicken tikka masala guys and it was so good. <laughs> Let's make this together. We will start off with 50 grams or half a cup of blanched almond flour. I am using the brand from Costco. To this we will add 1 tablespoon of psyllium husk. I am using the Sati Sab Gold brand that you are going to find at almost every Indian grocery store. Next goes in a quarter teaspoon of salt and half a cup of boiling hot water. Guys the water needs to be hot. We really want the psyllium husk to gelatinize and combine very well with the flour. Give it a mix and we are going to let that sit for 15 minutes at least. 15 minutes of resting gives the dough enough time to form a nice sticky pasty dough so that later we can press it down with the spatula and make our rotis and it's not going to tear. You should absolutely use a non-stick pan for this recipe and grease it with some oil or melted butter for sure. Do not turn on the heat as yet. We are going to take half of the batter, place it on the pan and start pressing it down with the spatula. You can uh, sprinkle a little bit of oil on the dough so that it doesn't stick to the spatula and you can press it down a lot more easily. Keep pressing it down with the spatula so the dough gets thinner and thinner. As you can see guys, this spreads really easily. It does not make holes. Even if there is a tiny hole, you can easily just fill it up. I can show you here. Yeah, there's a hole there. You just press it down with your spatula and it gets covered up. I'm just giving the roti a little bit of a circular shape and now is the time to turn on the heat to medium. Don't turn on the heat while you're pressing down on the dough guys because it's going to start to cook and then you're not going to be able to spread it as much. This roti is approximately 8 inches in diameter. It's nice and thin. Let the roti cook for 2 minutes or so. Touch it with your spatula. If it feels jelly-like still, Cook it for another minute, grease it with some oil and look for some little golden specks. You can already see that the edge over there is turning golden brown. That means we are ready to flip the roti. I'm going to slowly take it off the pan. This roti is thin guys, so you can tend to tear it. So just be very careful while you're flipping it. If you are nervous and you think that the roti is going to tear, keep watching this video. I'm going to show you another way you can make this roti without tearing it. If you're using a good non-stick pan, you should not have any problems flipping it. And see the roti is already cooked. It's nicely gliding on the surface of the pan, basically 2-3 to three minutes per side and your soft roti is ready. Before making the next roti, turn off the heat and then use a paper towel ball that is dipped in cold water and wipe the surface of the pan. Repeat this twice so that the pan cools down completely before you're spreading the next roti. This is similar to what we do while we make dosas, right? Guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Subscribe for exciting Indian keto recipes. This is now the other half of the batter. I grease the pan, the pan is cool and now you're going to press it down. Add a little bit oil so that you can press it down easily. And now we are going to press this down till it reaches approximately 5 inches in diameter. We are not going to make it too thin so that it's going to be easier to flip it. It's pretty thick, it's almost half a centimeter thick. But this is going to take a little more time to cook obviously. So approximately 4 minutes or so. You can tell by touching the, the roti a little, if it's too sticky, you can't flip it. So it's, it's still a little sticky as you can see. So I'm going to cook it for another minute and now it's coming off the pan. And this is going to be easier to flip than the thinner roti. Whichever method you need to use, just figure it out based on the non-stick pan that you have. So this I've flipped, but now we are going to make the roti thin. I'm using a dry paper towel ball and I'm going to press it down on the roti and make it as thin as you like. If the roti tears a little, just press it down a little bit and the hole is going to be filled like I showed you before. So this is the other method that you can use and in this method the roti may not tear. Okay guys, so these are the two ways you can make the roti. The best part of this roti is that it stays soft even when it is completely cooled down. Half a cup of almond flour is going to give you two rotis. You can also make more and then freeze these rotis. 
You can quickly warm it up in the microwave or on the pan. It's going to turn out nice and soft again. These are going to taste great with any keto Indian curry. You can find a lot of recipes on my channel.